Hi there, Bill. What's up? Not a thing. Nobody around. Where have they all gone to? My brother's in town. He had to go to the bank to get some money out, and the boys went along, too, to keep him company. The gold goes tomorrow. I'll pass the word on. So long. So long. And this time, no killings.
it sure beats the hell out of me, Link, how you can let that brat beat you. Looks like the brat beat you too, Fatso. <laughs> Looks like a holdup. Looks that way. They were carrying gold. It was a holdup, all right. We can't catch up with the robbers. By now, they're far away. The horses here are well rested. Must have happened an hour ago, more or less. We'd never find them. Looks to me like the crows work. I'd follow him, if we didn't have Sally in the way. Yeah, that's a real pity, ain't it? Every time I'm in the way, it's simply an excuse, you big liar. You'll have to handle her, older brother. In my opinion, the only thing to do is see if we can find her a nice old lady to take care of her while you and I go crow hunting. I pity the crows. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go tell Mr. Lawson someone's borrowed his gold. for Mr. Lawson this time, huh? I uh, hope not. But he didn't need me to check out the shipment. Oh, he trusts you. Yeah. Looks to me like a hand-picked escort. I don't expect any trouble. I can vouch for every one of these boys. Ah, ah.
Now maybe the crow will give me credit. Put it on our wagon. the hotel, assuming there is one. The best hotel in town is right there behind you. Good. It's not only the best, it's the only one there is. And where's the office of the Lawson Company? Down there. Is it far? End of the street. Only ain't nobody home. Right. Ha! Hey. Bill. Manners just like a couple of cavemen. <laughs> Make me sleep on the floor with the dogs. You always treat me like a baby sister instead of like a grown woman. A lady. Do you know what that is? No, you wouldn't, you animals. You're a couple of monkeys. A couple of monkeys. And I don't talk to monkeys. Once when we were kids, Sally, we three slept together, right? And you wet the bed, Sally, didn't you? No. Yes. A very nasty experience. Unpleasant, to say the least. You're fools. Don't speak to me again. How do? Who are you? You're Mr. Lawson, right? Our name is Conley. We are the children of Fred Conley, the owner of the Black Mountain Mine. Isn't that interesting? What can I do for you? We happen to find your wagon. I'm not missing a wagon. And if you expect a reward, you're in for disappointment. A man after my own heart. Make a nice husband for her. Sally. I don't need your humor. And I don't need any of your assistance. Now, if you'll be so kind as to leave my office. Nice guy. It's kind of you to say so. Now get out, all of you. And I never want to see you here again. <sighs> well, that's as nervous a man as you'd care to know. And why? I'm going to send a telegram. Wait for me over at the saloon. So long.
dirty sand. I like to hear a man enjoy his food. Can I help you? Send it? Nope. No telegrams can go out. The machine is broken down. Darn. I'm afraid that means we'll have to do without the assistance of the Bureau of Mines. And Lawson's a mystery. I don't think the townsfolk will talk about him. I say forget about it and push on out of here. There's no reason to stay here. Just the fact that the crow is apparently in the neighborhood. <laughs> If you want to put up in this town, please do. I've got other travel plans. Well, why don't you go? This is horrible stuff. It's poison, if you ask me. It's the best we got. What the hell happened to your manners? Manners got nothing to do with it. She gave me a piece of poison buffalo meat. Excuse me, gents. If I could say a word, what's wrong here? There is my stepdaughter. I've just been poisoned. This meat's the worst I've had in years. Oh? Tastes all right to me. Try it. I've had enough, thanks. Hmm. Mary, go on into the kitchen and get something fancy for this nice man here. <clears throat> How about this guy? You know what you're missing? Best like a hyena ever had. You ought to share it with the sheriff. Ah. <clears throat> you don't pay to be pleasant with some people. Sheriff, go get my boys. Could you imagine a smell like that? Obviously, the guy says he's a big hyena, you know? I want to go out to the fresh air. It's good. Darn uh, good. Uh, hyena is good for you. You city gents ought to give it a try. Folks around here consider it a real delicacy. Yep, hyena and rattlesnake meat. Uh, uh. And I suppose you people eat rats, too, huh? That's true, mister, with molasses. Try it sometime. You're not in a hurry to leave town, are you? Hmm. Oh, Sheriff, <laughs> hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's an> honor. <laughs> Tornado, I'd like you to meet the Sheriff of Lynchburg. Pleasure to know you, Sheriff. I'd like to have you meet my sister, Sally. A pleasure to know you, Sally. A pleasure is all mine, Sheriff. May I take this opportunity to introduce Link? Oh, my pleasure. Nice, real nice to meet you. You, Link. Tornado, and you, young lady, are all under arrest. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Sheriff, but you can't arrest us without making a formal charge. <laughs> yes, that's right. I know I ought to do that. It's a nice idea, isn't it, Chance? <laughs> yes, it is. Thanks, Chance, for reminding me. See you around. Uh, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> How are you? Nice to know you. <laughs> come on! Come on, boy! Get that dirty!
Okay. Together. the change. Oh, thanks, thanks. Five wives, five sons, and each one of them an idiot. Now, Pa, wait a minute before you... You're stupid! I'm ashamed to be your father! The whole bunch of you are stupid, stupid, stupid! I am the horse that you teach you a lesson. You're worse than a bunch of scared jackrabbits. Let those two city slickers get the best of you. You bunch of morons! You're stupid! 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 But just the same, how can you prove you didn't pull the hold up yourselves? You were in the vicinity, Mr. Connolly. But we brought back the wagon. No, that doesn't mean a thing. That could merely be your way of trying to avoid suspicion. Remember, please, that Mr. Lawson has yet to admit that the wagon you found belongs to his company. And how do you explain that? Naturally, I can't. The only way that you could find that out, if I can offer an opinion, is to speak with Mr. Lawson. I'm sure he could clear that up for you. Ridiculous. Mr. Lawson's business is his affair. I'd rather talk about you. Tell me, Sally, are these gents really your brothers? Yes, and have been for years. Oh, and have you all an occupation? Well, you might say it's troubleshooting. Naturally, for those who are in the right. But then we get in trouble, don't we? Still, we try to help out anyway. Ah, I admire. Well, so long, gents. I'm going to bed. So long, Sally.
you manage to hide? She's worse than a wildcat. Mary. Mary. I, I'm sorry about what happened yesterday. If I was you, I'd go polish the glasses. to work, to work in a place like this. Ah! Ow! She bit me! Leave her alone, you hear? Try anything or you'll regret it. You need someone to look after you. Yes, I know. Mary. Well, I found you at last. I want to talk to you. What's the matter? It's urgent, Tornado. I want to talk to you alone. Brother Link, why don't you get lost? Any moron can see this man is busy. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Come on, Tornado. This is important. Oh, God, give me strength. I'm sorry about this, Mary, but I'll get right back to you. Don't worry. Okay. Goodbye.
All right, Link, here I am. Read. We got the girl. Leave town, and we'll be glad to let her go. The Sloan boys. We want her now. Where is she? I didn't take the girl. I don't know where you'd likely find her. Please. Please. I don't know. My sons would know. Table set. We better look around the house. We search the place. Don't you two read the papers? Who were the bastards, Sally? Three of Sloane's boys. But one of them set me free and brought me here, a real gentleman. Now go away and let me go to sleep. Hmm. Good night. 
I know, boys, you'd like the bed. Unfortunately, tonight, I'm going to sleep in it by myself. Mm. <gasps> Night. Right, my dear. Just a minute. You found your little girl, didn't you? That's right. Sit down. It's empty. It's a mighty unlucky seat. I'll have to see about that. Go buy your own beer. I can pay for it. Is that your money? Yeah. Well, don't spend it on booze. Well, okay, Mary. But don't wear yourself out. No, I won't. Whiskey. Mr. Tornado. You love our good <sighs> hospitality, don't you? That's mighty kind of you. And your brother Link likes to play a hand of cards. I admire a man who likes a game of poker now and again. Sloan. Why don't you leave me in peace? Well, you can't please everybody. It's kind of too bad. But that's how God made us. That's the way it goes. Huh? Uh, you kind of like my little Mary, huh? You like her? Why well, mention Mary? I've taken care of her since her poor mother died. She's a fine little critter. She's a virgin. Nobody's fooled around before. No? No one's ever touched her. Not even the boys. <laughs> no me! <laughs> <laughs> Something you want to tell me, then spit it out. Well, if you really care for my little Mary, there's a bedroom upstairs. <laughs> the 
there's a big bed in it, mister. For a few dollars. <laughs> Not that. Play poker, mister. It's much less complicated. Mr. Collie, they're killing him. He doesn't need any help. He's a perfect Hercules. <laughs> Mr. Connolly, good morning. Why, good morning, Sheriff. You come to arrest me? No, I'm not after innocent men. You aren't. I've started an investigation to discover the bandits that robbed the go. That's good news. I was wishing you would. Discover anything? No, I haven't yet. <laughs> I didn't think you would. You haven't had much time to learn anything. Ready to arrest anyone? Got any clues? Mm, nothing. Nothing to go by yet. Yeah. Good day. fake. I tested what I won at poker. It's all fake. Hmm. In that case, the holdup was probably a fake, too. And the crow had nothing to do with it. Sally, what are you doing with that Sloan boy? That's Charlie, the one who saved her. Charlie, tell him. Now you listen, Lincoln. My father knows about the holdup. It was my brothers who stole the gold out of Lawson's wagon. They hid it out at the ranch. I was against it, but my father wouldn't listen. And my brothers were under his orders. And who's your father's boss? I'm not sure. I have no proof. But I think that Lawson is. What makes you want to look for my gold? It could be a nasty undertaking. We want a commission when we find it. Okay, have your fun. Mind if I say a few words here, Mr. Lawson? 
Go ahead. How do we know we can trust these three people? Say they find the gold. What's to prevent them from keeping all of it? <laughs> this boy, this man's very bright. How do we know we can trust you two? There ain't nobody here needs anybody to... Calm down, Bill. Calm down. Hey, you. Go tell Lawson. He's got an unexpected visitor. Better tell him to hurry. The Crow wants to see him. Sure thing. Three Connollys are making trouble for us. Have they found out anything yet? No, and I want to make sure they don't. Get the picture? Mm hmm. I know how to handle these difficult cases. You keep the Sloan boys on the ranch, and I'll take care of their father for you. Bill, you go get the boys out of the way. Right. You can leave the Connollys to me. completely worthless. Banknotes. Hey, Link. There's someone under here. No, don't touch me. Charlie, you're no son of mine. You'll fly in hell for this. Don't shoot. Keep calm. Don't hurt me. Talk, Sloan. anything you want to know even the truth where'd the gold come from uh, uh, I, I don't know where it came from uh, uh, my boys brought it to me uh, i don't know where they got it i'm a poor man when i saw all this gold i thought god wanted me to have it as a reward for all the hardships i've been through Throw it away. It's fake. The gold is fake.
kill Pa! Go get the bastards! Charlie, go around front and see what's going on. You think there'll be trouble? You aren't scared, are you, Link? Don't be silly. I'm beginning to think I know what's going on around here. The picture is gradually taking shape. First, it's clear that Sloan stole the gold from Mr. Lawson. Go on. And it's also clear he didn't know it was fake. Where do we go from there? You think you'll find a clue in Mr. Lawson's office? Yeah, I do. There's no one in there, and the horses are gone. I think that it's time to go see what we can find in the office. Charlie, you wait there. Yell if anyone comes. OK. Let's hurry up. behind the paintings. <clears throat> what the hell's the matter with you? You uh, overworked or something? Take a look in back of that filing cabinet. Well? Hey, this is it. Sheriff, they've killed my father, and Harry and Luke were shot dead. Tell me, who did it? The killer was the crow hired by Lawson. But you can't accuse Mr. Lawson, a respectable citizen. All right, then I'll take care of it myself. Have you gone mad? <laughs> Harry, all dead. 
Did you see where he was when he shot you? In the saloon. Still there. What do we do now, Link? He killed Dad, too. It's the fat guy. He's got the gold, and he's trying to get away. I'll try to catch him. Sally inside. You're not afraid, are you, Crow? Oh, you know I ought to shoot you down. Right ahead and cry. It's the best thing for you. It'll make you feel better. You've been a very brave girl, my dear. Didn't you know that? Have a little something to drink. Now don't be stubborn. Hello, Sheriff. Looks like your investigation's over. I found the gold. It was hidden behind a filing cabinet in Lawson's office. Now it's outside in a wagon. What's happened? 
tornado and was killed. Was it the crow? No. Who did it? Tell me. Lawson. He shot him in the back. A plain case of murder. Where's his body? Charlie took it. To bury out at the ranch. Let's get out of here, Link. You'll never have a chance. They'll kill you, too. Let's get out of here. Link, it's hopeless now. No, I beg you. They'll kill you the way they killed Tornado. No, Link. Let's go while we can. Let's get out of this awful town. Please, Link, please. <laughs> Bastard. I don't have my gun. Are you looking for me? Are you the crow? That's right. At last I see you in person, the crow. I know it's been a long time that you've been hunting me. What's your name? Connolly. Familiar to you, crow? You killed my father, Fred Connolly. You're wasting time. You're gonna die too, and I'm sure it'll be soon. You're mistaken, aren't you, crow? Stay there if you know it's good for you. And don't try to follow us. <laughs> Come on, Sally. Let's get out of here before the crow's men find out he's dead.
They shot the crow. No! The crow's men are coming. Take cover. Get out there.
That's her. Where's the sheriff? Where's your pa, honey? I don't know. I don't he was know. supposed to arrest the three Connollys, and he didn't. Where is he? I don't want to use force. So tell us where he is, huh? I don't know. Come on, dear. Come on. Talk. Tell us where he is. And we won't hurt you. Papa's not going to appreciate my hurting you. Speak up or I'll get mad at you. He's not here. He's not here. Then where is he? You're asking for it. No, Mom. You want more? He went to the old mine. Come on. Isn't that just too bad? All right, come on, you men. Come on out, Connolly. You bastard. You killed my brother. And now I'm going to kill you. You hear me, Connolly? You're going to pay for this. Where are you hiding? You and your sister. You kill the crow and you're gonna die for it. Show your faces. You hear? Get out here. I'm waiting out here for you, Connolly. Are you afraid? Get out here. Come on out. I'll find you, Connolly! And when I do, I'll kill you! Where are you? Answer me! Oh! 
We've had enough of you and your brother. Tornado's rifle. So you can have it when you go. And you're staying. Mm -hmm. I think Charlie will make you a good husband. He might even let you sleep in the same bed with him. I'll be back, I promise you. And you watch out for it, Charlie. I will, don't worry. I know we'll be happy. Uh, oh, Link. I'll keep in touch with you, Charlie. We'll always be glad to see you. Uh, I'm going back and try to get the old Black Mountain mine working again. Good luck, I hope you make it. Well. I think I owe it to my dad.